Hey everyone, we are going to make this um, pencil uh, rocket, and it's it's called a pencil rocket not because um, you use a pencil to launch it, it's because you use a pencil to uh, wrap the um, paper around it to make the um, uh, the shaft of the, the rocket, and it's very simple. And uh, I have my um, launcher here that. I made. I don't have a bendy straw, so I just made one. We'll, we'll show you how to do that again. And all you do is you blow in it, and it works pretty good, actually. Uh, so let's start. Move to the side. Now, sizing can be uh, very different, and this is just an average size that I made, and it seems to work okay. Uh, you can make yours a little different, a little larger, a little smaller, maybe if you want. Um, doesn't doesn't really matter. So what I'm doing here is I'm using um, a 12 centimeter by 12 centimeter square. Right, I drew that, and I drew a couple of right triangles, uh, two and a half centimeters at the bottom, and five centimeters for the height, and I need two of those, and I have a circle. Uh, that's about four to five centimeters um, across, right? The, um, the the diameter, and you can use anything to trace it, and um, you can also use a compass if you want to uh, to draw a circle. I just used a um, my original one. I just used something with a circle on the bottom. I just traced it. Okay, you may end up cutting it shorter. Uh, when you use it, but uh, but that's okay. So let's cut this out. You want it reasonably square when you cut it. And I'm going to cut these off like this. And cut one. There's one thing, and there is my. Second fin. Okay. There I have both of those circles. Oh, I thought my circle. Now on the circle, before you cut it out, you want to uh, find the center approximately. It doesn't have to be exactly. And then you want to draw kind of a piece of, of pie here. Maybe oh, maybe about a sixth, sixth to an eighth, right? And you're going to cut that out, right? So let's cut this circle out, <clears throat> and it's, it's actually, this is really quite simple, and it does travel pretty far. Okay, and there is our circle, I'm going to cut my little wedge out, and and the reason you try to keep it to the top part because you can actually make another one the same size out of the other half of the piece of paper. Okay, so you make two rockets out of one sheet, which is kind of nice. Now, first thing you do, because it's called a pencil rocket, you need a pencil. And you roll your paper up, it doesn't matter which side because it's it's a 12 by 12. Right? So you roll it around the pencil. This roll it around, make it tight, and then pull the pencil out. And then you want to make it even. Now uh, you should have some pieces of tape um, done already. Now you can use masking tape or you can use uh, clear scotch tape, and it doesn't really work. The one I've seen done they use scotch tape and I think masking tape will do just as well as long as as long as you hold it. Now my suggestion is is to put tape all along the seam for the simple reason that I think what happens is when you launch this rocket sometimes the air um, goes through the seam okay and now Masking tape is a little heavier than scotch tape. Scotch tape is pretty light, and you might think, well, it's not that much heavier, but it, it is a little heavier. Okay, so there you go. There's our fuselage, as you would call it in rocket terms. Now, what we need to do is we need to make the top. And 
what you do is you take your little wedge, I'll do it on this side, and you fold the one corner over the other corner, right? So you're making a little cone. And now what you do is you keep making it smaller and smaller and smaller. So you go like this, right? And you wrap it around. Now the inside, let me make your finger a little wet. And you just pull it so it goes, so it makes, so it, makes it a smaller, smaller and smaller piece until you can get it as small as you can. I think that's as good as I can get it. Okay, don't worry if it's if it's too big for the rocket. That's okay. Right? And uh, you can take it apart and you can do it again. So I'm going to go like this. And wrapping it around. There we go. Now I'm going to put a piece of tape on it. And then I don't want too big of a piece to start. There we go. Right, it's like a little hat. Now if I go to put it on, it is it's way too big. Right? So now I have to think about okay, I want to trim it. And I want to trim it, I'll go like this. It's probably still too big. So if I put it on here, uh, yeah, I think I want it just a little bit a little smaller. And the nice thing about this is if you cut it too small. It's pretty easy to make a new one. <clears throat> okay, I think that's pretty good. So now all you do is you tape this, the top, onto the fuselage, right? And I'm just going to use a piece of leftover tape that I have. And see, this is why actually scotch tape might be better to use, right? So, this side, and then I need some more. Um, like this, so you can hear my dog wanting to get out again. She's not, not a very good audience. Okay, I'll go like this. And, not great, but it'll work because you need a point to cut through the um, cut through the, the air right to make it more aerodynamic now with these it's just as simple put them on right put a little piece of tape on one edge first like this right and put it on here pretty good and then you take another piece of tape on the side and put it on there okay and you can actually play around with how these bend how the wings bend right if you want them to bend up you can actually make two more and put them on this side and this side too okay so you have four um, fins on it. That's another option. And then all you do is, if you have a bendy straw, again, you just bend your straw and put it inside because it will fit. That's where your pencil was. And if you blow on the end, it will take off. Uh, now, once again, I'll just show you really quickly how to make one of these if you don't have a uh, bendy straw. But you're going to need a few pieces of tape to start. Okay, and a straw, so I kind of want my straw to go about that far, so I'll bend it. And I'll cut it, so now I have two pieces, right? And actually they're about the same size. So now what I want to do is cut a little piece out of this, a little flap. And we'll, all right, so we go right here and right here. And if I bend it up, 
this is what it looks like. All right, you've cut a little groove in because what you're going to do is you're going to just put this on top of that space. Okay, and and the, and you're going to tape it tape it closed, tape the back closed so the air doesn't come out. All right, that's what we're going to do. So I'll do that now. All right, I'll just put my piece of tape on like this. Okay, and wrap it around, and now wrap a piece around the in, inside part. And there you go. And it doesn't need to be too solid. Does it work? Yep, I put my rocket on, and I blow on it. Works. Okay. There you go, there is your pencil rocket, and I um, hope you enjoy making it.